Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm Derek Schomer, and today I'm going through Bar Tour episode two of our of our Bar Tour series. Hopefully, and I don't think this is really the truth, but hopefully this is the last time I have to try and set up a camera in a tiny corner to be able to, to get the shot. This took way too long. Um, so what I want to do today is just cover our New Air uh, wine fridge. This was uh, given to us by New Air a little while ago and replaced the wine fridge I had. Um, so I want to kind of compare and contrast a little bit, which is pretty easy because the wine fridge I had was just your basic refrigerator with shelves that fit wine glasses. Um, it did have different sensors for uh, red to white and something in between. Uh, this one's got a little bit more of a feature, so I want to break that down too. Ironically, EverydayDrinkers.com, my primary website for the YouTube channel that probably nobody knows about because I never talk about it, um, was started more with wine reviews and stuff. So I started collecting wine a while ago. Um, today, I'm definitely more into cocktails, wines on the back burner. This is typically used for um, the stuff you'd use for cocktails. There are some fruitier wines, there are some champagne for when guests come over, and not champagne, just white wine. Um, the champagne is actually something I use for the show. So I'll crack this open for a second, I can show you some of the features um, and what, what we have. So here's kind of where I put my champagne. What I typically try to do is carry a bunch of these tiny bottles, that way I can do like one or two, like a French 75 or something on the show, and I don't need to go through a big bottle because I'm not a, a big champagne drinker. Uh, I've got my vermouths, these are small bottles that Via sent me. Um, and a lot of the whites I throw up here. This should be reds, ports, sherry, Harvey Bris Harvey's Bristol Cream, um, and stuff that you use for port cocktails, sherry cocktails, uh, stuff like that. There is a bottle of port, and I like to keep them in here. Uh, that way I, I, I can find them when I need them. The cool thing about this is it's a dual zone. So you have zone up here, which is at a different temperature. Right now, uh, 49. It should be a 44, but air. Uh, down here would be a 55. So your reds go down here, your whites go up here. The shelving system, which is pretty badass, goes like this. So you can actually pull them out and see what you have to be able to select them. So I've got my uh, my uh, my Quadis Batch 88 of Starbird, which is a port. You can get the play on words there. And then some of the reds. I'm a red wine drinker. Unfortunately, one of the pro one of the cons is that this doesn't fit as much wine as my last fridge did. Uh, but it has the dual zones, which I'll close for a second. And those dual zones give you, uh, or the shelving and everything kind of give you more granularity of how to control your product, but there isn't as many bottles. So I just drank the four I had that didn't fit. Oh, I also wanted to mention that New Air shipped this to me free of charge. So that kind of, just to make sure everybody gets a baseline of, of any influences I might have talking about the product. So as you can see, it's got the LED lights, which uh, don't generate a lot of heat. So it doesn't actually uh, warm your refrigerator while they're on. I just like them on because it's cool blue and it, and it helps light up the room. Some of the key elements that, that help me as, uh, as the guy that runs the set might not be for everybody, but it's quiet. I like that because I had to film. It's on right now, you can't tell. My heating system's actually making more noise than this. The other thing that's key for me is that it keeps everything at a consistent temperature. Uh, it's got the digital panel, which tells you kind of a status of where everything is. And you can just hit up and down to change those, and you can change them from Celsius to Fahrenheit with a click of a button, which is nice. But I don't understand Celsius very well, so I don't really care. You also have different dimming sensors for the lights. I don't know if you can see them because it's... I've got studio lights in here. Uh, but the consistent temperature is important. Down here in the basement where I moved it, it was upstairs. Um, my old one was upstairs. Is that... There's, upstairs is hard because the temperature fluctuations in the summertime. Downstairs is the same except reverse. It's cold down here in the summer and warm down here in the winter. Keeping your, your, your beverages at a consistent temperature, especially for red wines that are, are, are older or have a long life to them like Bordeaux, it's good to keep them at that cellar temperature because you don't want those fluctuations. It's gonna, make the, it's, it's gonna make your wine taste off. One of the functional yet not necessarily as functional for me uh, features of this wine fridge is it has a key so you can actually lock it so you can't open it You lock it it doesn't open anymore That's great if you're gonna put this in an area exposed to children especially teenagers and you want to keep them out of your wine stuff when you go away for me it, 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 it has no value because I've got I don't know 400 bottles of liquor down here so why would you go for the wine when all that's free to get if there's any other cons i like to come up with what's good what's bad so you guys don't think it's just me bragging about how awesome my wine fridge is um it is bigger than our other uh cooler that that newer sent us that i did a review which you could find over here um it, it's a little bit wider and bigger it's, it's a beast 
and uh, I also use it for our camera for our live chat room. To, so I put I put the the monitor up there. The, the features that it has is going to come with size. You can't get necessarily dual zones, adjustable shelves, wine with a lot of space in it without making it take up more room. So I get it. It's just. It would be it would be nice if there was a magical science that let me make a small product with a lot of stuff in it, but that's not how reality works. So things will be bigger the more features you add. One of the other things that can be slightly frustrating, like in the case over here, I can show you, is that bottle of cupcake champagne is big. So if you pull it out, it starts to scratch the label. So you can just kind of lift this up a little bit to bring it out like that. Of course, I've doubled up in the corner, so there's that. Um, and then when you push them in, you can scratch, scratch the labels a little bit. So you got to move them up if you have bigger bottles. So could you adjust these a little bit to get them out of the way? Probably, but you're never going to be able to solve this specific problem because you have people making crazy sized bottles. So what I suggest is you use a consistent sized bottle on a shelf for those that are more expensive. I don't really care if I rip off the cupcake label. I get it for like $7.99 on sale, but if you had... I don't know, a $70 bottle of Bordeaux, it would be something to consider as a, you know, when you're, when you're working with the refrigerator and pulling things out, you don't want anything to get scratched. So if you're looking for a wine fridge uh, of this caliber, this one holds 46 bottles of wine. They have other ones that might hold a little less. I don't know if they have bigger ones. Uh, but if you're looking for a wine fridge because you've got a lot of wines that you want to keep, um, then it makes sense to have one of these. If you're the type of person that has like three bottles of wine, you throw them in your refrigerator and they don't even last you a week or you drink like five bottles of champagne a week, maybe it's not necessarily something you need. I think it's good for collectors. It's good if you have, um, if you're like me and you have uh, the need for sweet vermouths and, and uh, dry vermouths and ports and cherries and stuff like that that you're going to use, but not all the time, but you want to keep them in a nice consistent temperature because you don't know when the next time you're going to need them. Boom, something like this could be very useful. And of course, the coupon code I used last time, which is common man, will say 15% off. And this is a larger, more expensive device than our, our cooler. So if you're looking for something, the 15% off is probably going to be pretty helpful. You can always head over to newair.com or just click the link below if you are interested or you want to look at it in more detail. Uh, the next video I'm going to do, I can't remember if my side, I think my sidebar is going to be over here. Uh, the next video, so you can check out some more videos over here. The next video we're going to do, or in a minute you will be able to. Uh, the next video we're going to do, I'm going to do the countertop or the, the bar top because I've had a lot of people talking about that. And I'll see if I can get the bar and the refrigerators and maybe our beer taps in one single video. Uh, so stay tuned for that one. That'll be series three in the bar tour. That's it, my friends. Videos over there if you want to continue your crawl through some of our other content. Link down below for awesomedrinks.com if you need a bartender starter kit or any other syrups or bitters for your next cocktail creation. We are teaching you how to drink.